Welcome to this week's vlog where Debbie and I are going to be talking about getting paid what you are worth. We know a lot of bookkeepers actually struggle with this particular um, idea of valuing ourselves enough to actually ask for the money that we do want to receive and that other bookkeepers are getting in the, in the industry. So why not you? So let's look at the way that you um, perceive yourself as a value to the business. So Deb has often talked about that you are not just a bookkeeper, that we are so much more, as bookkeepers, we are so much more than doing the data entering and the reconciliation and the compliance. And the value that we do actually give to our clients and the figures that we provide them so that they can um, trust those figures, trust the service that we provide them, and rely on those figures to make some really important decisions in their own business. So of course, as bookkeepers, we do have to do the data entering and the reconciliation and compliance. But once that's done, we can move past that and provide some valuable advisory uh, services to our clients um, and just explain and empower them around their own finances, which is what you know, Pure Bookkeeping wants our licensees to do is to empower their small business clients around their own finances. So let's get the data entering done and the reconciliation compliance and move on to be able to provide that value because we all know that we already do it inside of our bookkeeping. So it's asking the client to be paid because they value that work. So we need to, to be able to put up our hand and ask for, you know, what, 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 we, what we are worth. So Deb, I know you've got some, some um, conversation around this as well. Yeah, I love this topic. Um, it was something that I struggled with a lot when I was starting uh, my, my business. Uh, and, and it was only, um, it was really with the help of Peter Cook, helping me understand, because I, I, I didn't, put myself down but I, I said look I'm I felt that I was just a bookkeeper I was just doing data entry and compliance but what I failed to see was how much more I was actually doing and it was and Pete actually helped me realize that yes it's a what we do the tools that we use the computers the software all these other things all the knowledge we have got is getting the work done but how does that benefit the client? What does that give them? It allows them to sleep at night. Some people, their marriages are breaking down because the finances are in an absolute mess. The wife is trying to do the work. You can save marriages, you know. You really are the heroes of your clients. And you, when we talk about rescue them, you literally do rescue them from financial despair. So what is that worth? It was really, it was an aha moment for me when I realised that, yes, I do bookkeeping, but it's not just bookkeeping. It's how it makes the client feel and how, and how you are going to empower them around your finances. But it starts with you. And do you really believe that? You know, spend some time thinking about, don't just think about, oh, I do a, a bank reconciliation and I do a, or to trial balance and all that. What does that actually do for your clients? If you are not convinced yourself that you are in the business of empowering business owners around their finances. You can't convince clients. They'll just say, no, I'm looking, I'm just looking for a bookkeeper. I just want the compliance done. I just want my best done. You can't do your best work with everyone. Work out who it is that, that really does value more than just the data entry and compliance and target your market. Target, target all your marketing towards those people so you attract people that actually do want more than just data entry and compliance. They want to be rescued. They want to have all their numbers um, analysed. They want to get advice. You do that already. It's not just bookkeeping. You're far more than that. Yeah, and, and there are clients that also value the work that you do. Like We wanted to look for those clients that value the, the compliance is done on time and, you know, given, given them the, the, enough notice. 
it's it's clients that that value even even the data processing like everything is in on time you know so they can rely on their figures every day that they know their debt is accurate they know that they're paying their bills accurately and on time so it's again it's it's as deb says finding those clients that actually value that service and and the the, the care that you are putting into their business finding those clients that value that care factor so I hope that gives you something to think about and love to hear your comments. Have a great day. Bye.